Burn a little brighter every day Swimming in the tide against the waves And I can hold my breath until they crash Never been the type to wait I never had the time to play it safe I'm rushing in like an avalanche Loud as lightning bolts that strike Rolling thunder Marching in line like we've been told All the little lies that we've been sold To keep staring down a highway made of gold Picking up quick and moving fast Never looking down or looking back So we can make the feeling last Loud as lightning bolts that strike Rolling thunder Poetry Plus. I have no idea how to set this up. This material is just amazing. DCF. It's like a, it's like a plastic sheet. So Away. Oh, so that's come open. Oh, big vestibule space here. Am I using the wrong one for the wrong one here? Don't know. No, I think that's got to go there, and that's got to go there. Oh. Doesn't matter. You still on? I'm still talking shit. <laughs> right. Let's move you over here. So, I mean, look how much space there is in there, can you? work out how to use this bloody gimbal. Look at that. Big vegetable space there for a pack. There's a 42 litre pack and then this is supposed to fit two wide pads but it's just going to be me with my long wide Therma rest and Isla and then potentially Jax so two doggies. My wife uh, won't camp in a tent. She thinks it's like sleeping in the dirt. Um, yeah crap that I'm gonna need. Puffer jacket, long wide uh, X Therm, X Ped pillow, Isla sleeping bag, and tons and tons of room. And then I put over there, I put the um, Isla's bag on my rucksack, just get it out of the way. I reckon that's alright for a first pitch. Wasn't so fiddly. So maybe tie it out. Isla. Got 
got my uh, Vesuv windshield here, windshield, little alcohol stove, bit of alcohol, squirt it in there, no idea how much it needs, that'll do. There's a lighter. I don't know, this is the problem, you put one thing down and it's gone. So that's lit. Water. Don't need a lot. And serve. There we go. Done. Now what do we do? Wait for that alcohol stove to go out. So we're on our way to the popular wild camping uh, experience that is grabbing a donut kebab. So nice, uh, nice main road. We're going to walk along here. We're really in the in the outback here. <laughs> Can I show you beers? We've got beers. Beers. And we've got real wild camping food. Isla's got a donor box. And I've got a donor kebab. So oh, you've lost me. Hello. Active track. Thank you very much. So I'm gonna give Isla some food here. And then get stuck into mine. Mm. That's Isla's, if you can see. Chips and donut meat. Sit. Get it. And I'm going to tuck into mine. And I'm not going to make you watch me eat it. So I'll see you in a bit. Kebab's done. Now onto the beers. Cheers. Oh, that's nice. What is it called? Flensburger Pilsner. Whatever. It's got one of these tops that, like they used to have on Grosch. That you could seal it back up. Pop. Very good. Cheers. <coughs> I was full. You full? Never full. She's never full. She could eat anything. Right. I'll finish this beer and then head back to the tent. Hello, doggo. <coughs> Change the sleeping arrangements. I sleep on this side. <coughs> Isla sleeps on the other side. Because of the headroom here. Because of the, si uh, the shape. Can't get over how big that vestibule is. <laughs> Do you like over mono? You like it? Morning, so it's uh, quarter to six, 
it's uh, been raining all night. We fell asleep really early um, yesterday, as is typical. And so we're up early today. Um, forecast says it's going to stop raining in about 30 minutes. So we're just going to relax in the tent for a bit. And wait for it to uh, wait for it to stop before we pack up. Oh, let's have a good snooze. Oh, nurse is going to have a lick. Very timely, thank you. Chicken and dry food. Not as good as the kebab yesterday. No, come here. Come here. Here, sit. 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 Look at it. You're a good girl. And I'm going to make a coffee. Water's boiled. Coffee's made, and now I'm going to attempt to eat a decathlon chocolate muesli, which I think I've just torn off the strip that real seals it. And there's no real, there's no real seal, reseal. I wonder if you're supposed to have warm water in this. No idea. Let's pour a bit of water in and see. Starting to pack things away. There was, I think, zero condensation on the inside of the tent. Very wet outside, but zero condensation inside. With me and the dog inside. I mean, we had quite a lot of area. Got a nice towel just in case. But we don't need that, for sure. The way this was, so it was in with the alcohol stove. Anyway, let's have a taste of this muesli, shall we? Isla? Mm. Very sweet, very rich and chocolatey. 397 calories. So, quite a bit. Right, see you a bit. Finish it off. Leave no trace, just a patch in the ground. Checked everywhere. Move that rock. Right, are you ready to go? You ready to go? Take that rubbish over there. And off we go. 18 euro for one night, one person, a dog, and uh, a couple of beers. Have no idea how that works out, but. I mean, okay, you can wild camp for free, but here we tested out the new tent. We got to uh, walk away from the tent and go for little walks without having to worry about the tent being discovered or whatever. Whereas when you're wild camping, you basically put your tent up and you have to stay there. So that was quite good. So now we're walking from Altenburg to Schellerhau and it's decided to, uh, to rain. Not so heavy right now, but I can see it up there in the mountains. So uh, catch up in a bit, there's Isla here. You know the way Isla? There's some kind of, uh, like a little nature reserve bit, but it's uh, totally flooded in winter. But in the summer there's so many plants and flowers and insects and birds and whatever. I guess that's perhaps why it's so popular in the summer and well grown is because of how much water it gets in the winter, I have no idea. But it's uh, it's all fenced off anyway. I think I think maybe you can go through there in the summer. I don't know, we'll we'll check back later. So here, flora and fauna. You can get an idea, it's absolutely covered. 
I think I'll there she agrees. Oh we've got our eye and some ducks over there. Hello duckies. Only two and a half kilometres to Shallow Hell. Go that way. This is where we normally throw things in the river for her. So she's waiting for us to uh, throw in these pine cones. Not today, little girl. You don't need to get too wet. Yeah, good girl. Come. A bit of Osmo action on us. See what that footage looks like. I'll skip to it now. See where she goes on some of her adventures. So here is a place called the Shellamula where my wife used to make holidays with her parents a long time ago in a state of disrepair right now She'd like to buy it but you know, it costs more to renovate it because it's a protected building it costs more to renovate it than it would knock it down and build a new a new building, but you're not allowed to. Out of breath. Doesn't stop going up. We're at about... I don't know, when we get to the top we're at about 900 metres. I'll let her off the lead, she doesn't need to drag my ass up to the top. Somebody cutting down trees over there. 
or cutting up one that fell down, who knows. sound was but it's the wind whistling I think in these these holes here <laughs> so we're gonna stop for another coffee and a snack for Isla up here. Get out of the wind for a bit. Treat for Isla. And coffee for me. It's amazing how quickly the temperature can change and how you're how you feel when you have had a break so I was hiking for a while it was pretty sweaty and warm everything okay and now we've been sat around for about 30 minutes and literally just had to put all the layers on even got gloves on as well gloves hat base layer mid layer jacket thing and a hard shell and a and a hat just to to warm up I mean hopefully I'll be taking one of the layers off in a minute 10 minutes or whatever but it's freezing and mainly it's the wind up here at up here as if we're on top of Everest or something but we're at 900 meters and there's nothing to protect you from the wind so it just cuts through so useful to have a hard shell I think anyway to you in a bit we're on the way to uh, meet the missus now she's already she's got in the car she's on the way so we'll be meeting up with them soon. The end of the adventure or start of part two. Welcome to Shellahow. <laughs> my wife and all my wife and I always joke that it's like the Dallas uh, thing. The Dallas Ranch. And if you don't know the Dallas Ranch then you're too young or not old enough. Hey Isla, come here. You're a good girl, you're a good girl. Tumbling. 